what's happening people and welcome to sandbag exercise directory number three in this one we're going to be covering the sandbag carry as well as a bunch of single shoulder sandbag stuff now hopefully at this point you guys already know what's going on here but if you don't all of the exercises that I'm explaining are directly accompanying the new ebook that I just put out 60 sandbag sessions and beginners guide thank you Amazon I can't even remember what I what I did did I already say what what I'm covering today yeah, yeah. no uh Anyway, since I have no idea what's going on, I'm gonna jump right into sandbag carries. Now, when I say sandbag carries, what I'm basically talking about is the bear hug position. That's what everyone's talking about when they're talking about carrying a sandbag, okay? Now, it's important to note here that you can do a bear hug carry either direction, with a horizontal hold or a vertical hold. However, for a lot of the bigger bags, you're gonna end up doing a vertical hold. And I did wanna address the fact that when you do pick this thing up, if you do not adjust it correctly from the lap position and it is too low, when you go to walk, your hips are gonna get blocked, right? So you're just gonna bottle with this thing, it's not gonna work out. So you need to make sure before you stand up with this thing, just like in your extension, just like the stand back of your shoulder, push this thing out, get high on your chest, lock in, breathe and brace, crush this thing like it owes you money, raise your hips, and stand. From here, that's all you did, you just did a basic extension, that wasn't the hard part. The walking is where things get complicated. The reason why is because when people are walking with something heavy, they waddle like this. They open their hips and they go like this, and that is not an athletic stance, all right? When people ask whether they should be doing their weighted carries, whether it's a sandbag carry or farmer's carry or anything like that, quickly or slowly, you should absolutely be doing it quickly. Number one is because it comes from strongman and it's always a race. You're doing it for time. Number two, carrying something that is extremely heavy is like carrying something extremely hot. You're going to move quickly because you want it to be over faster. So when you're doing your sandbag, make sure it is high and here. And in order to move quicker and more efficiently, you want to move your feet as forward as possible. Another thing I should probably tell you is the more straight that your feet are, the more likely you are to actually fall flat on your face forward. However, you're laying on top of sandbag, so it just kind of makes it funny. As far as the breathing for the sandbag pick, when you come out of the lap position, you get that good breathing brace and you stand back for the extension and you start moving, I try to hold that breath for as long as I can. If it is a 50 foot course, I will hold my breath that entire time and then release my breath when I release the back. However, for longer courses, you need to learn to control your breathing. So you can still take short, shallow breaths or once you pick that first one up, you can slowly exhale and slowly rebreathe, but you cannot let your stomach relax because just like a boa constrictor, that sand is gonna take up whatever real estate that you give. So you need to keep your abs pushed out in that good brace and then breathe inside of that core, all right? Again, sandbag carries are littered everywhere throughout the program, but if you're looking specifically for a couple of sessions to do from the ebook, check out number one, 39 and 50. The second exercise I wanna talk about today is the single shoulder carry. Instead of the bear hug carry, we're doing a single shoulder carry. So what we're gonna do is set up the exact same way that you did for the sandbag over shoulder, find your midlines, midline, get to your lap position from here, hips up, throw it up on your shoulder. Once you're here, you walk, that's your carry, right? Now, it seems pretty easy because honestly, having something loaded up on your shoulder is more in line with your spine, it's a lot easier than holding out in front of you. That said, if you do it for any amount of time, virtually every session that I do a carry is gonna be a little bit longer because your obliques are gonna get absolutely smoked doing this. Now, also here, you're going to have a squat. When you do a squat here, you're gonna to wanna to do it very similar to the same way that you did a sandbag squat if it was here, in that you're not gonna push your butt back because you're gonna to wanna to keep the sandbag as on top of your midline and your spine as you can. So you're gonna to wanna to push your knees out while keeping your hand out for balance. So from here, dropping more like this as opposed to pushing your butt back like this because sandbag is not gonna accept that as any sort of payment. Now, to get things even harder becomes the single shoulder lunge. The single shoulder squat is rough. You need to brace pretty hard, like as hard as you can, kind of hard when you're bracing, right? But when you do the single shoulder lunge, you need to brace like twice as hard as that. So when you are doing the same side on the lunge, there's a couple things that I want to talk to you about the lunge in general. I have an entire video about the lunge in a playlist, so make sure you search my channel for that. But the reason why a lot of people hate lunges and they're painful to people is because they're carrying too much momentum into the lunge. So think of the lunge as three different things. A step, a set, and then the lunge. So if you step and you're not set and you're still moving when you're lunging, you're gonna get some sort of pain because your knee needs to be a break. And if you do it with the sandbag, you're gonna hit your life and fall over. 
So what you're gonna to wanna to do is step, make sure that sandbags are on top of the center line of your body and everything is good. I don't care if you step forward or if you step back, do whatever you wanna do. Once you're locked in there, try to drop literally your taint to the floor and then back up. When you're on the same side, the bracing is intense for this. It is a lighter bag exercise. Like if you're doing your body weight, it's tough. Body weight is tough on this. Now, this sucks. What sucks worse is when you switch your legs because now you're on the opposite side. The opposite side lunge is one of the hardest exercises in the book because now you not only need to brace like you've never braced in your life, but you also need to kind of lean in the opposite direction. So again, I'm going to step, I'm going to set, and then I am going to have to kind of open my pelvis as well as bracing my oblique, everything needs to hold it, and then stand up. Extremely, extremely tough exercise. So make sure you start a little bit light or even with a medicine ball or something like that. You're gonna be shocked at how tough they actually are, but the single shoulder lunge is absolutely amazing. If you guys are looking for a couple sessions that cover the single shoulder lunge, in the book, check out number 14, 27, and 49, and for the carry and the squats, check out the single shoulder carry and the squats, check out numbers 20 and 43. So there you guys go, there is the end of exercise directory number three. We covered a lot of things here, and trust me, the oblique and bracing that was covered in this one is absolutely intense. Make sure you start out all these exercises with a little bit lighter weights than you normally would, other than the carry. The carry, you can go absolutely nuts. Like the bear hug carry, good nuts on that. But anything single shoulder, Take your time on it because it's real easy to tweak yourself, make sure everything is really locked in and tight. Again, revisit the Breathing Embracing video and I thank you all for all the time, all the support, all the patience. For all of you who have already purchased the book, I thank you so much for all of you who will purchase the 60 Sandbag Session ebook. I really, really thank you so much. I truly get to live exactly the way that I want to live and it's because of the generosity of people like you. So I thank you so, so much. I will be back at you guys with Sandbag Directory number four. Uh, very, very soon. Until I do go out something amazing with life, keep working on people, beat. Is that right? Until, until, I, until I do go out something amazing with life, keep working on people, be nice to each other. <sighs> <laughs>